Hey, Sawmill Club gang, we have core and strength supersets. You've maybe done this one before with me. I have another video just like it. It's two different exercises, supersetting for a minute, 45 seconds and then 30 seconds, and then we'll do a minute of core work in between each one. Hope you have dumbbells and a mat if you don't pick up something else heavy, water bottles, cans, whatever you've got. Um, and let's get going. Music on. We're going to do a quick warm up and then we'll get started. So, feet a little wider than hip distance apart. Roll back, roll back. Come on, lift up and down and around. Now take it forward. Good. Four more. Circle. Take a big breath in. Bring it all the way down. Now, take it in and out. So, you're closing the chest and opening the back and then doing the reverse. Don't just do the upper back, but get that mid back and that low back moving as well. Now hold front, hold, push, lift, pull down. Four, three, two. Try that again. Hold, front, lift, pull down. Four, three, two. Last one. Front, open, lift, pull down. Four, three, hands down. Straighten the legs and the knees. Lift that tailbone all the way up. Give it two more. And one, slowly roll it up, roll four, three, right foot forward, lunge, pulse. Step back, switch. Good, add that bit of rotation over the front knee. One more each side like this. Then we're gonna go high and diagonally low in the lunge. Same thing, so we lunge. High, low, high, come back. High, low, high, come back. Reach, down, up, step back. Reach, down, up. Two more. One. Squat. Pulse, kick your right leg forward. Squat, pulse, kick that left leg forward. Again, three, two, one. Kick, three, two. We're gonna do one more set, then we'll go to singles. But let's squat and lift the side leg. Down, up, up, up. One more each side. Get ready. Side lunge right. Hold. Come back up. Hold. Now reach while you pull. Reach. Come back up one more time. Get ready to go left. Left leg. Hold. And up. Hold. Now get ready to reach. Reach. Come up one more time. Reach. One more big breath in. Hopefully you're a little bit warmer and ready to go. I'm coming up to you. I gotta turn my timer on to keep me honest. Because otherwise we know I lose track, right? You are picking up the heavier dumbbells that you have. Grab those dumbbells. Get ready to take those lunges back. So, up, press, down, step together. Alternating legs, giving me that strong overhead press as you lower into your lunge. Abdominals are in nice and tight. Your spine is long. Your chin is gently tucked into your chest. Really stable through those legs. Keep it strong. Done. Let's set up for our next exercise. You're going to 
leave your dumbbells at your side. You're gonna walk out. You're gonna do a push up. You're gonna walk back, pick up your dumbbells, and row two times. One minute on the clock. Go. Squat, out, push up, walk in, stand up, row once, row twice. Dumbbells down, walk out, push up, one, walk in, grab your dumbbells, pull your abs in on those two rows. So make sure when you row, your tailbone is lifted, your belly button is pulling towards the ceiling. Belly button lifted. Exhale into that nice strong row. Last repetition. Done. Come on up. We're going back to exercise one. Step back into your lunge, shoulder press. Right leg starts in three, two, one, hit it. So are you thinking to yourself, how long are these supersets again? What are we doing? A minute, then 45 seconds, then 30 seconds. So you're on the middle round. Stay nice and tall, abs and tight, pelvis neutral. Focused and strong. Three, two, one. All right, 45 seconds. Exercise number two, walk it out to your push-up, then come up into your two high lunges. Ready? And we go. Down, walk it out. One push-up, walk it back. Grab the weights, row, and row. Keep in mind on that push-up, if it works for you and you'd rather go down to your knees, that's an awesome place to be. You have to do what works for you. Not me, not anybody else, you. And every day is a little different, right? Some days we got no problem with a full push up. And some days, even the ones on our knees are a challenge. As long as you honor that part of your body, whatever it needs, you're good. Done. All right, round three. 30 seconds are on the clock. Let's hit it. Come on, get down into that lunge. Pull those dumbbells up. Exhale and press overhead. Nice strong press. Come on. Final set. Maybe we work on speed. Maybe we can't. Maybe it's everything we can just to get through. It's good. Whatever you got is good. All right. Exercise number two. Last round. In three. Two, one, do it. So remember to use your abs on both of these movements, or I should really say, on every movement here. Even when you're walking out and walking in, the strength of your core is connecting your upper and lower body. You need it in order to move efficiently. Come on, one more repetition. Give me that last push up. Lift, row, pull, and pull. Beautiful. Okay, keep one heavy dumbbell. Core exercise number one wood chops. Low to high. Start right, swing, left. When I say swing, I mean swing. You can't chop wood unless you swing your axe. You need the momentum from that axe to cut wood. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds on 
on this side, 30 seconds on the other. Feel the rotation through the floor. Last swing, come down. Switch sides, left to right, low to high. Come up on that left toe. Let the knee and the hip pivot a little bit as you swing to the right. Let momentum take that hip over. And three, and two, and one. All right. Picking up your lighter weights. Moving on. of your mat if you have one. If you don't have one, you're fine. You're on your knees. You're going to step up, lower down, right, left, left leg, up, up, down, down. One arm front the other side, then switch. Up. I know. A lot of moving parts to this one. That's okay. We'll keep our brains sharp. Switching legs in between. Coming all the way up and all the way down. Then one arm side, one arm front. If you can use your heavier weights on this, grab them now. You got plenty of time. Come on. One of the most functional things we can do is get up and down off of our knees. And I know they might be a little tender. Sometimes mine are too. But it's so important to use your legs to stand all the way up and go all the way back down. Last one. Amazing. All right. Grab those heavy dumbbells. Lie back. Time for a blue bridge and a chest press. Start up. Lift your left leg. Lower your hips. Lift your hips. Bring it down. Switch. Switch. Now you're holding those weights above your chest, pushing them away from you at the top. Squeeze your glute. Squeeze your chest as well. Close it up. Make it as tight as it can be. Come on. Drop down. Lift up. One, two, down, up. One, two, down, up. One, two, down, up. One, two, down, up. One, two. Down, up, one, last rep. Good, lower down. Put those dumbbells down. Come on back up. Now when you know what it is, if you want to switch weights, remember, it gets shorter. Shorter superset, 45 seconds. Stand, one, two, lower, one, two. One arm side, the other. Other leg. Standing all the way up, all the way back down. One side, the other. Use your breath. Exhale as you move. Ah, up and down. Lift and lift. Use that glute to get you up there. Squeeze your booty. Last one. Coming all the way down onto your back. Bend your knees. Stack your dumbbells. Stick one leg up in the air. Go down, up, switch, legs. Now, there's a lot of isometric hold in this blue bridge. So, if you're not comfortable with one leg, use two. Keep both 
those feet on the floor the whole time. Otherwise, challenge those cheeks. Make them work for you. That's what it's about, right? Last rep. second super set. Last time through. Breathe in three, two, one. Let's do it. Stand up. Lower down.
halfway down, all the way up, all the way down. Half, down, up, half, up, down, 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 half, down.
See you soon, I hope. Bye!